Hey, good morning, it's Dr. James. I hope you're off to a beautiful start today. It's great to see you. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your energy. And this morning, I hope you are ready to have me come in to your world and remind you of the power that you have inside of you every single moment of your life if you're willing to be courageous enough to be present to feel what your heart is asking for. You know, I've done so much research over the last several decades on what brings about a sense of physiological power, spiritual enlightenment, but most importantly, the way that you come up into the world each and every moment of your life to show yourself, your heart, the world around you, what is possible through your living example. You, my dear one, are an epic motion picture. In every single moment of your life, you are producing something that either makes you feel alive, makes you feel inspired, makes you feel courageous, or you are dedicating yourself to a level of mediocrity that one day, one day you will look at and say, oh my gosh, I missed my window. Oh my goodness. I knew what was in my heart, but I never fully gave myself permission to really love myself awake, to fully arouse myself from my self-imposed slumber party and become everything that I came here to be. The word mediocrity comes to mind this morning. It comes from the Latin medias ochris, which simply means surrendering to live in the valley of average. <laughs> wow, surrendering to live in the valley of average. Let that just wash over your mind and your heart and your soul and say to yourself, are you gonna surrender and live there? Oh my gosh, no way. And I'm gonna read this to you because this is fabulous. Medius ochris is the Latin, which actually means stuck in the valley. But they go on to say in the Latin etymology that this is when we actually choose to be stuck. And they go on to say the synonyms for mediocrity in this valley of choosing to be stuck are choosing to be average, choosing to be common, and maybe more than anything else, choosing to be inferior to your heart's knowing. <clears throat> choosing to be inferior to your heart's knowing. The antonyms to this, the exact opposite of medias ochris and not choosing to be inferior to your heart's knowing is spiritual excellence. Spiritual excellence. What does that look like to you? And it goes on to actually show that when we move out of this valley of average, we have simply decided for ourselves, we're gonna look at our life like it's our own epic motion picture. We're gonna look at our life like we're saying to ourselves, I wanna show myself what it looks like to move out of the valley of average and embrace a level of excellence that stimulates my soul, that stimulates my heart, that stimulates the world around me to say, this is what it looks like when I emancipate myself, when I set myself free from self-oppression. This is when I rise up and create a life that is extraordinarily a reflection of the truth of my heart. What is the truth in your heart? And are you willing to create an epic motion picture that is so beautiful that you and the world around you cannot take its eyes off from? Let us today decide whether or not we have chosen the valley of average. And more importantly, are we willing to courageously crawl out of that valley and no longer settle for inferior to what we know is the true nature of our heart when we live and love out loud? Let us rise as one. I believe in you. I believe in us. Much love and many blessings. Have an awesome day. Bye for now.